Where do you meet someone from outer space? Perhaps in the North Woods. Joe Simonton of Eagle River, Wisconsin, spends a yarn about an April morning in 1961. A morning when, he says, he came face to face with another world. Uh, right here is where this uh, flying saucer, this UFO, landed. Right here about where I'm standing. And uh, it was a big, huge thing, and uh, I wondered what the heck it was. I was in my kitchen uh, having a bite of lunch, and I turned around, put the dishes in the sink, and I looked out the window, and that's when I first saw this thing coming straight down, just like an elevator. And... Uh, First, I thought the roof went off in my house. And I thought, no, the roof is green and this is bright. What the heck is it? So I rushed out to see what it was. And by that time, there was a hatchway opening up in the top of it, just like the trunk of your car. And then there, there stood a little man. I say a little man, about five foot tall, holding up a jug or a, a container. And he motioned they wanted to drink. He motioned for water. So I walked up to him to get this jug... And uh, I looked at his eyes, and they were so penetrating that I had to look away. So I went to the basement to get this water, and uh, I thought, well, they want water, so I'll take it up to them and see what happens. And with that, I brought the water up, and he was looking at me when I first came out of the basement. But I didn't look at his face until I got right up to him. Then I looked up, and I handed the jug up with both hands, and I had that same look in his eyes, a sort of a penetrating look. And uh, when he took the water, I balanced myself with this hand against the machine, and I stepped back a few steps. And then uh, uh, with that, uh, he set the jug down, and he gave me a salute with the back of his hand, a gesture of thanks, I presume. And then, uh, well, I gave him my salute. What am I going to do? So... Uh, I noticed this little man, the uh, same size of a man, right to the side, the right side of the hatchway, cooking, uh, cooking these pancakes, which I have one here yet. Uh, he was he was frying these these pancakes, and uh, I pointed to him and made a gesture like eating. I thought maybe I get a conversation out of him. Nobody was saying anything, but he. Uh, he didn't say a word. He just reached over and he got a handful of them, four of them, and he handed them down to me. And uh, they were hot and greasy. And this uh, man cooking these pancakes, it was on a square uh, grill-like concern. I couldn't see any flame, but it seemed to be very hot. There was smoke coming from it. And uh, if that was their food, God help them, because I took a bite of one of them, and it tasted like a piece of cardboard. And uh, if that's what they lived on, no wonder they're small. And with that, he reached up and he closed his hatch with a heavy thud, click like, and it latched. And you couldn't a bit more see where that hatch was than you could see a hole in my hand. And uh, with that, the thing started to raise, just like it came down. Everything was time perfect. It went up about 20 feet. It tilted at 45 degrees straight south and shot off. And within uh, two or three seconds, it was out of sight. Well, there I stood in the driveway with a handful of greasy pancakes and my mouth open, wondering what the heck I'd saw, what had happened. This man was cooking these pancakes, and I didn't know what he was doing. So I pointed to him, and I made a gesture, like eating, see? And this man that took the water, he looked down at me, and he reached over, and he got a handful of these pancakes, and he handed them down to me. They happened to be four. They were so hot and greasy, I could hardly hold to them. And uh, from that time, he reached up and he got a hold of the hat. He closed it with a heavy thud, a click. And uh, when he closed that, you couldn't a bit more see where that was and you could see a hole in my hand. Yeah, it was just that perfect. And with that, they started to raise. They started to raise and raise up about uh, 20 feet high, about the top of this tree. And from there, it was a terrible release of air, just like a, like that, you know. And it took off straight south, on a 45 degree angle, up, see. And uh, I would say uh, in three seconds, that's an awful short time, but it was a short time that they, it took them to disappear and they were gone. Now they really traveled fast. And there I stood, right here in my driveway, 
with a handful of uh, hot, greasy pancakes, uh, looking in that direction and seeing nothing and nothing here to show where it landed. Thank you. 